Thanks for taking the time to look at our demo of the Invoices module for Eternal Data. The Invoices module has a lot of things that you would expect in an Invoices module. You've got information on the purchaser, the sale date and due date of the invoice, as well as employee information and that sort of thing. And of course, in this case, the deceased is list, as listed as well. Down below here we can see details on the invoice itself and the items that are listed there. You can choose packages that you can make up elsewhere in the Eternal Data database in order to make invoices much quicker for creation. But they can also be divided up into various areas, contract services, products, and disbursements. This makes your accounting much, much easier. And of course, for any invoice module, you need to be able to track payments. And in the payments area here, of course, you can add multiple payments through various different means, and it gives you amounts due and so on. When you travel back to the deceased module, you'll find that you can find statements on various purchasers and deceased so that you can bring up easy information on amounts owing for your company and so on. You'll notice down below here that we have some other buttons including line items, invoice lists, and payments lists. This gives you easy access to the information within the invoices module so that you can view all information that's important to you for your funeral home. In terms of printing, over here you can see that we have contract formats as well as basic invoice formats as well. The contracts, of course, are very important in the funeral industry because there's a lot of information there that the clients need to know and that you need to have listed for them. And of course, your license information is all printed on there automatically. So I hope you've enjoyed the quick demo here of the invoices module. If you have any more questions, please go to the Contact Us section of this website and send me an email, and I'll be happy to answer any more of your questions. Again, thanks for joining us.